Have you heard of the black people with a natural blonde hair? Well, we have always known since the beginning that black afro is for the black people and blonde straight hair is synonymous with the Europeans. But if you pay a visit to Melalicia Solomon Island, which is 1,800 1, kilometers northeast of Australia, you will notice a striking contrast. About 10% of dark-skinned islanders have natural bright blonde straight hair and some have blonde afros. A lot could be going on in your mind like, who are these people? What did they stand for? Where are they? Well, Melalicians are black island people in the South Pacific that migrated over thousands of years ago, long before the blacks were taken to America as slaves. Melalicia is a sub-region of Oceania, extending from the western end of the Pacific Ocean to the Arafura Sea. The region comprises most of the islands in the north and northeast of Australia, including New Guinea, Fiji, Vanuatu, Solomon Island, and New Caledonia. The Solomon Islands are located in the South Pacific, the very heart of Menalicia, just northeast of Australia between Pau Pau and Vanuatu. It is an independent state with the British Commonwealth. Until recently, the indigenous Menalician people practiced cannibalism, head hunting, kidnapping, and slavery, just like the Asmat tribe. Although the population is now predominantly Christians, 90% of these people live a rural life. Although these people are not Africans, they have a dark skin and a white nose, exactly like that of we Africans, and between 5 and 10% have bright blonde hair. There have been several theories on how they got their blonde hair. Some people claim that the origin of this golden hair is as a result of bleaching by the sun and salt whitening. Some claimed it is as a result of high fish intake, while some opine that it is a genetic heritage from mixed breeding with Europeans who lived in the highland. St. Miley's conducted a genetic analysis on saliva and air samples from 1,209 Melalitian Solomon Island indigenous. Findings from the study revealed that the Melalitian people have a type 1 gene which is partly responsible for their blonde hair and melalin. It is totally distinct to that of Caucasians as it doesn't exist in their genes. This means that the study does not support the theories that were suggested to be the reason for their blonde hair. Rather, the studies claim that the blonde hair evolved independently at least twice in human history. So, like, it just happened. It is natural. They were created like that and not as a result of their forefathers marrying Europeans or because they eat fish and sun or because of sun reaction. It is also said that this gene is recessive and more common in children than adults as their hair tends to darken as the individual matures. Although a number of people hair remains blonde as they age, so it's a natural occurrence in the lives of Melalitians. Now, I don't know what you guys think, but personally, I think they are beautiful. Now, look at them. Just take a look at them. Look at how beautiful they are. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't take my eyes off these people. Like, they are so beautiful. They are so unique. Well, God made different shades of beauty, different uniqueness. And in fact, this is so amazing. Like, they are very awesome. They are beautiful. Look at them living their lives to the full, not minding too or not having too much to worry about, despite not having a lot of social amenities. Now, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you wish you also have a blonde hair? Or will you prefer that your hair remains black? <laughs> anyway, the bottom line is this. Just love your hair.
no matter the color no matter the texture no matter the pattern no matter the structure everything god creates is beautiful so thanks for watching and have you liked this video yet so don't delay send me a thumbs up subscribe so that to get more mind-blowing content and turn on your notification bell for updates on my new videos bye for now